In this how-to lesson, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up a large format printer. I'm just going to take you through the basics and show you where you can get some help. OK, so we click on Setup Wizard either from the Launch module or from the Help menu, like so. Once the Setup Wizard comes up, what we're looking for is large format printing, which we can see at the top here, and we click on that link there. Next, we need to select the uh, Install or Test a Printer's Compatibility, and we click on that link there. And now we need to set the make and model of printer we have. So we come up to the make here and select the make we've got. In this case we'll set up our Roland printer. So we select Roland here and now we need to select the model. So we'll scroll down. We're looking for um, a VP here, uh, 540i. So we select that model there. That's what we're setting up to in today's lesson. Uh, then we click next step. Now the port is critical. You need to select the correct port if your printer is ever going to print. Now you may not know which port it is, that's why we have Help Me Find the Port there. Uh, but we, if you do know, come to this link here, this drop down, and select the port. Uh, m many printers work on a, um, on a TCP IP port, in other words a, uh, a network port. So as I say, if you're unsure, you can click Help Find the Port. I'll come back and explain more about this in a moment. So at this stage we know the make and model and the port we're on, so we click Next Step. And now it's very important that the printer is switched on, uh, it has some media loaded, and it's in ready mode. It's ready to print. So you must initialize the printer. It's critical. If you don't, it won't do anything. So once we're at that stage, we now want to uh, print a test page. So we click here. Now this test page that prints is has no profile, so it may not come out the correct color. So the wizard will go off and send a, a very generic uh, print file like the one we see here. And if it fails, you can click uh, Print Test Failed. And if it's successful, we can click this link here. So the next stage is to actually install the RIP driver itself. We click here to do that. Uh, and when we do that, it logs onto the internet and downloads any drivers, etc., uh, any updates and profiles. Now, what's absolutely critical is to select a media profile. The printer requires this because it needs to know what ICC profile to use, ink and media set. So we can do that from uh, the wizard directly by clicking on the, um, uh, the RIP Manager link down the bottom here to bring up the RIP Manager where we can now set our um, media profile. So we go to Printer Settings here and this is the printer we've just set up. So we select that and it will automatically remember the port we've set. So what we're interested in here is setting the media profile and we can do that by going up to the uh, Media Library up the top here. We click on that link and what we're interested in is installing a media profile. Now when we've installed the printer a lot have been downloaded for us so we click on this link here to install media and you'll see a big long list of media profiles here which come with this particular printer. Of course you can download any from the internet and use your own um, however uh, that's ICC profiles these are the media files they're more complete um, so we open one of these up and we can see our tone reproduction curves for this particular profile, very clean profile this one here and we can set what media type we want to print this on, uh, we can give it a media name, um, we can set our print mode, in this case we've got normal or draft, if we've got a different media width we can set that there, we can adjust our ink channels, this is where we set our ICC profile and our render intent um, and we have a description here. Uh, we can set our uh, ink ink channels, how much ink we're going to lay down of each particular ink channel here like so and we can adjust these curves as we need to. We can also set the ink limits, in other words how much ink is laid down per channel which we can do up here and we have all these sort of settings. Now there's lots of help on this, we don't need to go into all the great detail of this now, I'm just quickly showing you where some of these things are. It's important you know where to install the media profile. Once we've done that we can click on OK and uh, update our changes. Yes, we want to do that. And then we're back here and we can see the media profile that we've selected and the different settings we have. Now, there's a lot of help as I've just mentioned on all of this. And uh, it's available to you from up here. So click on the help uh, file and we'll just resize this window to suit the recording size. So in here we have all sorts of help about large format printing. Um, all about the RIP manager here as you can see. And as you scroll through this, you'll see lots and lots of detailed help on how this all works. And you can read this at your, in your own time and go through it. 
This is the help on the uh, media profiles and as you can see we see that window there. And again, there's lots of help on the media profile library and how it works there. And further down here, um, we can then look more at the technical side of how media profiles work and how we set all those settings there for media profiles, as you can see down here, such as adjusting ink channels and using uh, different settings and combinations of settings and how they work. Okay. <clears throat> so just to quickly go back about um, selecting your port, which usually throws most people because they don't know what port they're using or their, their, their printer's connected to. If you click Find My Port, it'll show you the cables here like so, and you can set which cables you want to work, you actually have connected to your printer. Now, if you've got a USB cable, you can click on this link here, and it'll give you all the help about how USB cables or USB ports work with your printer, and you can select the port there. Now, if you've got a TCP IP port, which is what most people have, which is a network port, you can click on this link here, and this will explain to you how to establish what your IP address is of your printer. There's a little module we've developed for this, so you click that here, and you follow these instructions through. Now, I won't go into the great detail now, but if you follow through these instructions, it will help you or assist you find the IP address of your printer, which is what you need to be able to do uh, when you select the port here and select whatever IP address your printer is set to. There's also help about how to set up a TCP IP port um, in the help file itself, which we'll find here. You can see under large format printer setup, we've got all these options and how to add a TCP IP port for your printer. And this help file actually goes through and shows you exactly how to do this. So it's important you realize where all this help is. It's in the help topics as you can see here in this window and it's under rip print and cut large format printing. You can also set all your printer settings here and learn about how they work. What's important about printer settings is the ability that when you, or the, your ability to actually save them off. So if you go and change your ink limits and what ICC profile you use and the things that you like about how you want your printer to work, especially once you've uh, found settings that you're happy with, you can back up these settings. And it's important to know that you can back them up and then you can restore them. Uh, if you go and change them later, you can bring them back. So it's important to know where that is. It's up here in this menu where we can back up all our printers or we can back up our current printer. And then we can import and export our printer drivers. Exports for tech support. If you have a problem, you can export your printer driver. And if we send you back any, a printer driver, you can then just import it. It's important that you realize there's a lot of uh, tech support help for you. Um, you can contact us. You can leave a message for us on live chat if we're not online or ch chat to us if we are there and uh, you can get remote support um, whenever you need to uh, or contact us by email. So that's how you set up a large format printer and that's the end of this lesson. Thanks.